Greetings. The purpose of this short video is to provide you with some more information on what may happen during a school crisis event and what we would like for you to do during a school crisis event. This dialogue that is starting at this point is very important. So at the end of this, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact your school administrators or us to be able to get some more specific questions answered if you have them. Again, as I said, the purpose is to provide you with what's information and the most reliable and fastest way that we can do that in the event of a crisis is through our school messaging system, either by email or by text. Please, please make sure that your information is in that database and that that information is the most updated and correct for you. In the event of a crisis, we will again notify you as fast as possible. And what we will describe to you is the event as short and succinct as possible and that the status of the school. Either we're in lockdown, please don't come to the school, you won't be able to get in, or we are in the event of getting kids picked up and wanting you to come to the school so that we can transport kids away and or provide them to you and have you take them home. One of the more terrifying ideas, again, is that if you hear this over the radio or you hear this over television that there's an incident at your school, please know that if that happens and you haven't been contacted, it's not because we didn't have a plan to do that. It's because that that action was not able to be done at that time. We are prepared for these type of events. We are practicing these type of events. And one of the key elements is that we notify you as fast as possible because we realize the terror that it creates if these events are found out over radio and or TV airwaves or internet for that matter. What we also want to make sure of is that we know that you're going to want to come to the school and we understand that completely. But please be aware that we're going to have emergency responders descending on the school like an event you've never seen before in the event of a crisis. Please, please, if we ask you to not come to campus at the time or if there's an event and you find yourself wanting to get to campus as fast as possible, which again, we completely understand, please stay at a safe distance away so that you do not impede the emergency responder traffic. In the event that a situation transpires and we notify you and or you find out via social media, via internet, via TV, please know that our next steps are to not only secure your child and increase their safety and security, but, safety, but increase the safety and security of this process so that if we ask you to come to the school and pick up your child or we're at a different location and notify you of that location and ask you to come and pick up your students, please make sure that it is you, the parent guardian, that can get to the school and do this and or that you have a relative or friend because what's going to happen is we are going to be releasing kids back to parents in the event again of this crisis, but those we need to make sure that that parent is somebody that is recognized by staff, that that parent is somebody, we're not just providing anybody that walks up and says a kid's name, that we're just saying, here you go, great, go ahead and take your, that kid home. We wanna make sure that we're increasing the safety and security of the entire process. So please, if you are able to, and we ask you to, to respond, that you as a, as a parent are the one that responds and or a relative or somebody that again is known by the school, it'll make it just that much better. There are probably a lot of questions going on through your mind and, and again this is a short video and an intro to starting this dialogue. We have been preparing, we have been drilling, we have been doing a lot of different things to make sure that our response to a school crisis is not only as safe and secure and effective as possible but that you're included in this so that you can understand that, again, if we have a, a crisis incident, we're immediately going into lockdown. We're making sure that area around is secure. We're making sure that police, are, who already have 
maps and information and contact information for the school are moving as efficiently and effectively as possible. You helping with this, you assisting with this in the event of following directions that you're given and or allowing emergency responders to do their job will allow a absolute, again, event that may never ever take place. But if it does, we're going to know that we are prepared as possible because we're going to have your help in this situation. So again, if you have any questions, the, our contact information is at the end of this video. Please don't hesitate to contact us or your school administration if you want some more detailed information or things that may have sparked some additional questions and concerns. As normal, if your child has a medical condition, is there going to be, if there we're at a different place for a long time, medical supplies? And the answer to that is yes. We'll be taking all of that information and all of those supplies with us. We already have that in our plans and our procedures. So just to assure you just a little more. Contact us. We appreciate your time. And again, we are so very grateful that we're doing and being able to do the work to help prevent and do everything we can to prevent a crisis from ever happening. And again, knowing that the more prepared we are, the more effective we are at keeping your child safe and secure. Thank you for your time.